Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia and today I'm going to do some work on this piece. I have been away, and not away, I've been not had the video up for a few days now because there's been work going on in my room. Um, a friend of mine, Stephanie, came from, all the way from Sydney and spent a few days here but she didn't stay at our house, she stayed in a, with her husband in a, a caravan place and um, come and help me do some sorting out um, which was really good uh, I've got still a bit to do but that's okay she's done a very good job and I'm really grateful to her for all her help um, I'm really really itching to get back in here because I've got so much amazing stuff that we found <laughs> found it was always there but you know we found it anyway um Yes, yeah, so I'm back on here now and I intend to keep working on this piece because I really love it. I might just move a bit of these bits off for a second just to let us see what's there. We're in Australia today and it is a coolish sort of day for what it should be. It should be better than this, I think, but um, it should be much better. Now that looks really cool, doesn't it? And I found... Oh, we found the most amazing lot of doilies that I actually, I found a few of them the other day in, in the linen cupboard when my daughter helped me do that because I'd put them, um, big tablecloths and things with embroidery and that on them. So now, after I do this, I imagine I'm going to be doing something else a bit, you know, to do with it, the same sort of thing. But anyway, um, I was working on these little bullion stitches over here. I have found a couple of other things that I want want to put on. I love this um, frilly bits. love the frilly bits. I got this bit but I don't know. I might just try and do a sort of um, mock that because that's got metal on it and I don't know if I want to... it was off an earring. So if I, if I did that on to the f fabric, you know, just use this as an idea instead of putting it on the metal bit because it probably drag it down somewhat so then I've got this nice piece here that I can put on and I'm really liking this how it is I really do like this um, we might just put a couple more of these bits on and then we can do different some more different stitches okay I'll do a few more bullion stitches here now I haven't sewn now for <laughs> a while I found some pom. Oh well, we found some pom pom trim that I bought, and I don't. I think I had red one as well, but I don't think I want. To, I don't know if I want to put this on here or not. We just have to see what it, it's going to look like. But I'd, I'd like a different colour. Actually, I was thinking you could make your. Well, I'll make your own. I don't know about that. You could, but that'd take a bit. You'd have to make those pom pommy things, wouldn't you? Those little things like this. Like I've got on here, wouldn't you have to make that? And they wouldn't look as probably as neat as what you'd like them to be. But anyway, I might put just a couple of these stitches here while I decide and think about what I'm going to do the next bit, what other sort of um, decorations I can make to put on this. So we're going to... Oh, we've had a lot, of, lot going on in the house. We've um, got rid of some stuff out of the spare room because we've got a... We're putting a bed in there for me. Um, so I can get in and out of bed a bit easier and I'm so excited I talked to the doctor a minute ago <laughs> I talked to my doctor and I said I can't stay like this the rest of my life and I'm crying and upset and she said we can do something she said, we can help you she said she was really nice and I've got an appointment to get myself checked again I've got to, I've got to check my um, shoulders and send me to the physio she's got more medication for me and I don't mind as long as I do not have to live in pain all the time and she said we don't have to there's things you can do for me so I was so happy because after talking to the physio man he was the other physio when I'm not going back to him um he was not very helpful <laughs> he was not very promising you know but she was really nice this morning she said you don't have to be like that all the time Sonia so oh, I'm so pleased anyway she's um Wrote me out the, she wrote me out the things because she had to ring me because I can't get in that in that place. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'm going to go out and get some x-rays done at the hospital and uh, go to the physiotherapists out there and 
we got plans to fix me. Isn't that good? I feel so ba better. I feel so much better. I do not like when people say this is it. You can't can't get me. He said that, and I didn't like it at all. You know, he was not hopeful. But I think you know what? I think he was pretty laid back, as if you know you're old now. You you know. <laughs> I intend to be here for quite a while yet, and I'm not going to be taking his. Um, you know, I thought no, that's not good, mate. I can't deal with this. Anyway, so I've, I talked to her today, and I was going to go and see her, but. I um, had to cancel it and get her to ring me instead and I'm feeling so much better emotionally and, and physically see because once you get your head right you're right you know hopefully I've got so much stuff in this room that is so amazing I love it <laughs> I just love it I feel really bad but I love it <laughs> for having it but I just love it um, but I've got so much to do too I want so there's so much I've found that I really need to to get on with, you know. I wasn't going to sell any of my work, but you know what? I'm going to because I I, got to, I want to make more, and I can't just make more all the time. I can't, you know, it will drown me in it. And um, I just, you know, I want to do. I'll, I'll sell it because I want to make more. You know what I mean? You go, oh, I can't, you know, I better not. Get, I can't keep everything. So let's get on with it, Sonia. We can do this. I feel so much better with myself and I really really appreciate all you people out there um, supporting me I really do it's so kind of you to, to come on here and but you know what I'm hardly getting any likes or my um, views and that are really down because the, the algorithms don't think I should be up there with the rest of the people for some reason but I'm not the only one there's a lot of people doing different things that are talking about it all the time about how you see the ones it's just like most things in life even when people have got everything just get more don't they you know <laughs> it's just the how the way things are you get more if you got everything you just get more mm. so the ones that's got all these subscribers they just keep getting more because because they've got heaps of subscribers they're not as long as I would have liked them to be but they look good I do like it I do like that. Yeah, so I'm just I'm gonna have to do something, even if I just write something at the beginning of my um stories that I'm putting up on videos and just put this beading uh, patchwork, the whole lot, all them all them words to somehow help you. Whatever words you use. So whatever I'm doing in the video, if I'm doing a stitching, if I'm doing any beading, I can put all that up at the beginning, the tag words, you know, so I can Hopefully the, the algorithm thing will think, oh, gee, she's got stuff. We'll go and put that up there. People will go find me then. You know, even the ones that can't find me, that just have been my subscribers for a while. Sometimes people can't find me. But all you have to do is type in. You know what I got here? I got one of those weather things. Okay, and it says the humidity in here is 38. The temperature in 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 Fahrenheit is 70. Two, and the temperature in Celsius is 22 and the time is <laughs> 19 past 11 how's that <laughs> Jeremy I bought it for Jeremy for Christmas my clock got broken because it had no face on it and the little hand got broken and that's okay I'll just buy another one anyway I could actually a lady tried to give me one the other day because I went to a garage sale down the corner it was actually at the house where we got married because we got married down the corner in the carport and because it was a bigger inside there was plenty of room inside so we had a little reception in there but um, I think we had about 50 people but anyway it was really good anyhow um, might be exaggerating on the 50 people I don't know so they had um, things and I've been wanting to get rid of the um, wardrobe out of my room that, that the clothes are hanging in because they're um, well, now I'm going on about stuff, but you know what? It's about my life. Um, <laughs> what life's talk. Because it's oh, brought brand new, paid a lot of money for it, fell apart really easy. It was not much drop. So at the garage sale, she had this really big old one. Well, when I say it's not, wasn't that, it's good. It's a really good thing. And I paid $20 for it and we bought it home and we put it in the spare room and we're going to hang and store our clothes in there because I need to make a space so we can have two beds in that room, 
you know, like next to one another. Because <clears throat> so I've got to get one of them that drives up and down so we can get myself in and out of bed. Um, so that's really good. The doctor was really pleased to not hear that. She was really happy that they were getting that for me. <clears throat> the, so that's good. And because you've got to go to the OT and then you've got to go and test one out and stuff like that to make sure you get the right thing. Anyhow, so I've been waiting for an appointment to go and do that. And so that's... We've got rid of the furniture out of that room so we can make a space. Uh, the spare room, we call it. And the cat, there was a bed in there, a double bed. It's been in there for a long time. You know, my daughter used to come and stay, but there's not enough room for her now. And her husband and the baby, this house is too small. Babies need space. And um, so the cat, we had a blanket on the bed for the cat to sleep on. So he used to get up there and sleep. The bed went out the door yesterday and he wasn't happy. Last night he slept with us for a fair while. Oh dear, that was annoying. <laughs> He likes to lay across that way, not up and down with everybody else, like across that way. And he is so uncomfortable. Oh, dear. And you know how we do not want to disturb him, you know? <laughs> Don't disturb the pussycat. Anyway, probably only stayed in there about 2 o'clock or something, and then he decided to go out. So Jeremy made him a little... He made him a really good bed, you know, out of... Uh, it was cat size. And put it in the same blanket on top, but he would not go in there and get on it. He was, he was determined not to sleep in there. So I think he might have slept out in the lounge room, because he comes out there for an afternoon when we have our little nap in the lounge room, and he lays on the chair out there. So he, he sleeps out there. He probably slept there last night. He's in our bed now though, because he goes back in there and gets in once we get out. He likes to get back in there. <clears throat> He's a little, little bit older now, so I suppose he likes a nap. <laughs> we all do, don't we? My daughter says if it goes past an hour, it's asleep. So there you go, because sometimes... But I've not, not been able to sleep properly for the last few afternoons, actually, so I've been too... too um, I don't know whether it's... You get hyped up or... There could be a little bit of stress in there or things, you know, when things are getting different and changing. But anyway, I slept OK last night. I know a lot of you tell me that you can't. A lot of people come on here and say they don't sleep very well. And it's a bit sad, that, isn't it? We don't get enough rest. <clears throat> well, we don't feel like we do, but I reckon, I reckon you know, you, some people can operate on hardly any at all. So, you know, I don't feel too bad until about half past one of an afternoon and then I go down in a big heap. My eldest daughter's birthday was yesterday, so she came over and we had, had a little song and a cake for her. And that was good. So that was interesting. We had a little we sing happy birthday and get a coat. We always do the, that sort of small family gathering. If there's no big parties involved, we just have the immediate family there. But then the kids did want some <laughs> some sort of party thing, and I wasn't going to put that on. Not, not that old, the younger ones. They wanted some party. Parties cost a lot of money. You know, but anyway, this is good stuff. I just found across the way. This would make good with me to put some beads in there to hang them down, wouldn't it? You know, it's a bit wider than that other one because I'd really like to do something like that and put some dangles on here. And this is the right way up in it because the bird's flying that way. Is that right? Oh no, it's not. Wait a minute. Which way did the bird go? Did you? Do you just remember which way I was going to put it? That looks right. Why is he upside down? Hmm. Maybe I'm having it around the way, am I? <laughs> oh dear. I guess it'll do. It'll be fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Bird flying upside down. So this here, I might do this. No, with that. Put that there and put some dangly bits on that. What do you reckon? Okay. Oh, we got his. So I didn't probably end up end off all these because I'm going to do more stitching over the top of them. Okay, so we got these bits here too to put on, don't we? In the buttons, I really love this button. It's one of my favourites. This button. It's only one I've done really that big so far, isn't it? 
Actually, I was going to put some things on that too. I could put the dangles on that. Couldn't I? It's got holes in there. Right. I need I need a bead needle. And I'll need some beads. There's my water bottle making a noise. I need some beads. Probably can find a few of those. Um, I just want to see if I can see a bit. Here's one. Got a bead needle. Got that. Uh, bit of thread. I'm going to use this. I hope this will thread through here. I'll just try it first before I break it off. Probably won't. So it might be on my lucky day, you never know. Come on, that's the way, come through there. We must continue on and do some more bead knitting. I might do a bag one day and show you how to make one. I've got a bit of sorting out to do first before I can get if we go any further. That's my needle I was just using on it. No, it's okay, nobody panic, we're good. It's fluff stuff to stack the things. Now we've got this. I'm using this um, crochet cotton and it's really really fine but it's good. it says 60, I don't know what that means, could be the name of it or something. Uh, 20 grams on the ball and it's really good because it's strong and it's um, really thin so that's good. Now I want to put I want to make a dangly thing. So I need a bead that drops down. I need a, oh no, I don't necessarily, do I? I need a bead. Okay. I need a bead. Let me see. I'm going to... Um, just give me a second while I think this through. I think I'll go with the white with things that are white. Okay, so I don't have a box of white things, do I? No, of course not. <laughs> I've got a flower there, but it's too big. So those ones there, they're too big. Alright. Um, I hope I don't lose your concentration, people. I just look just hang out with me for a bit longer and we'll figure this out. It's all going on in my brain, I promise. Um, I need some, I'll get some long ones, will I? Some white ones, and there's some white ones, but they're a bit small. Right, that's a good. That's a good lot. I'll try and use these off here. I think. And now we've got to work out that we're going to um, go down there and come back up. With, I don't want it too big, but I do want a, a bit of a dangly bit. So I'm looking at these here things. See these here? These are nice. These white ones. I must buy some more of those. I've got different colours. And then I've got the pearly things. These little green ones are cool there. Okay, so let's come through from the back on here. And I'm going to go through, come through this hole. Where the, um, you would have crocheted through there normally. I mean, I hope I've got a knot. Oh dear, oh dear, I don't believe this. <laughs> don't believe this. I'll go right over to the side here. Right on the edge. Put it right on the edge. Okay. Right here. Now, uh, I might just take a few of these out of here and put them on in front of me. I can get hold of them. I did. I did mix some of the light, smaller ones in there, which is probably. Can I use that. I'm just one out for the time being. I'm not. It's not very far to go. Oh, 
There's a few holes, but it's not too much. I just want to catch some of these smaller beads down in here. And they are always on the bottom, aren't they? Because they're... Oh. Not one. <laughs> I like the, the, the milky look of these. Because they've got a really nice... Oh, dear. I'm sorry, I'll hurry. Try and hurry. Okay. Get off me. <laughs> I'll have that one. I need some. I can't just let go. <laughs> it's got hold of me. Right. Right, now get in there. Oh, there's heaps in here. Of all the things, I have to pick something that's... Oh, now I've broke that. Nobody panic, it just goes back together really easy. You just have to push that up then you've got to twist, you've got to um thread this on here and turn it. Turn it. I've just untwisted it. And go on. No, I'll have to do that after. It will go back to, together okay, so nobody panic please. Nobody panic. Probably would have been better off to do these in the first place with the tweezers. Okay, so we'll pick out some of these little green ones. I, I did get a pink one, but I don't think I'll do the pink. I think I'll do the green. Come on. I'm so excited. The doctor said she's going to be able to help me. She knows what's wrong with me. She knows what she's doing. And I trust her. She's been my doctor now for years. I accidentally had to go, not accidentally, but sometimes when the other doctor that we used to go to wasn't there, they'd send you to her. And I just kept going back to her because she was so good. She was never, she never, um, I don't know, she's always helped me, you know, but I guess I haven't been to her for a long time and I don't like to tell them too much because I get scared that they can't put, put me in or something if I can't move about enough or, but I can, I can go... I can go up the street and I could do... I don't think they'll put me in a home. I'm, I'm sure Jeremy wouldn't allow that. He said he'd look after me, so... I just don't want to... I feel really bad, because when my friend was here on... on you know, I couldn't do anything. I, I couldn't do anything, and I felt really bad. You know? Anyway, let's not get into all these pity parties. We'll leave them away and leave the pity party alone, Sonia. Okay, so now I've got these bits. Right, so hopefully I've got what I need. I'll put a white one on and then will I do a green one? Or do I need the green one on the end? I'll try this. I'll put them on the bead, f on the needle first, eh? There. And another green one. How about that? That'll look nice, won't it? You think? No, I don't. So now, no, I've done it up the wrong way because this will be at the top of your of your frilly bit. This will be the next thing down. The next thing down will be the green one, and then the white one on the bottom. Because then, <coughs> I have to move this out of the way. That'll hang down there, see? Like that. That's alright. I think that'll look good. And then you don't go on the first one here. You go in the, to the green one and back up through this and through there and then through the hole. So if you haven't got the right thing or you haven't got any frilly things, you can make your own, can't you? Now you want to have it loose so it'll hang down a bit. I won't put in every one because it'll be too much, I think. I'll just go every second one, eh? Is that long enough? That's tight enough here. Yeah. Because you need to have it a little so it'll dangle. So you want to put the one that's closest to the hole first. And then this long one. And then another, another green one. 
a white one on the end, and then go back up through the green, and up through the top here. Go over the first one, you don't want to go through that first bead, okay? So you can do this on a piece of um, stuff first. So of course it's going to have to have a knot. You can do this on a piece of cord first, a piece of ribbon or something first if you want to, and then sew it onto it. That's. But I think what I'm doing here now is... What have I got here? Goodness gracious me, Sonia, what are you doing? Is this me knot? Yeah. Can't be, is it? What have I done here? That's not good. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? What's this bit? That's a knotty piece. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, now it's right. It looks right on the top, but I've done about the bottom bit. I don't know what on earth I did there. I must have sewed back through the... I've got an extra piece of thread on here that doesn't even belong, by the look of it. I just picked it up as I was going past. That doesn't surprise me. I don't know. I'm thinking that's what it is. I really do. <laughs> oh dear, I'm terribly sorry about this. Yeah, I've got it. No, I don't. I pulled it down again. Can you see? If you can see me making all these mistakes, you won't do them yourself, will you? <laughs> you don't do this at home. I've still got this here going on. What's going on with that? Why isn't that coming up there? Okay, now it is. Now that bit's right. But they're sitting up too. They're too sitting up. So of course they because I've got a nice piece of cream thread. It'll look okay. I'm going to tie a knot in this. I don't have to. I don't know what this piece is here. But I'm cutting it off. I don't know. I think that was just a bit of random stuff that I just sewed through. Righto. Now come through here. Let's see if we can fix this without mucking it up too bad. Pull it down so it stays down. Righto. And then I'm going to do a long one. And then I'm going to do a green one. Just a bit different. Uh, and then another white one. And then I'll come down to the bottom. Oh, that's what I'm doing anyway, really. Now I'll just put a white one at the top, that's all. It doesn't make much difference. I need this to keep hanging down there. I don't want to pull it too tight because I don't want it to be all daggy. So this is pretty much what I'm doing anyway. I should have, might change it up a bit. But we'll j let's go. Let's succeed at what we're doing first and then we can <laughs> change it once we get the hang of it first. I do know what I'm doing. I just don't know why I keep getting things caught in it. I think this cotton's a little bit thick, but it's working, so I, I, I like it, the idea that it's working. So, come on. I oh, know, I've got... You always have one thread longer than the other, of course, but there's always one that gets caught, doesn't, isn't there? And that's not it. There it is. Make it a bit shorter, Sonia, so that's better. Okay. Right. Okay. Probably it's it's not going to kick up too much if I make sure that I keep it keep it hanging down there. Okay. It's not going to be too bad as long as I make sure it's all hanging down there. Okay. I'm going to do a stitch, and then I'm going to come back through, and that way I know that it's not going to pull up. The ones that are hanging down, they're not going to be pulled up. It'll be all wrong, you know. They're going to still hang on there. Okay. All right, now up the top. 
there's one of these. So it goes on first, and then that one, and then another green one, and then a white one. So I've only just did that one different. It doesn't matter, I'll do the next one different. And all the same. You probably could you use your um, fabric for your inspiration on your stitches, don't you? You know? Use your fabric for your inspiration on your stitches. See, what, this is what I did this because I seen them holes there, see? They give me something to, to look at. Can you see this? Not as good as you would like to, I suppose. I don't know. But that looks, that's good. It's interesting. It's something on here that's different. And I'm into that. <laughs> Definitely need to be different. Oh, I forgot the green one. I'll put two green ones on. And another white one. This one's going to be different. And another green one. And a white one on the bottom. <laughs> Now, people can't say, oh, gee, she mucked that up, because it can't be mucked up this much, can it, really? <laughs> i got them little shishkoshki, shishkoshki, whatever that word is, crystals, a really long time ago, them green ones. Oh, to be honest with you, I did think they were bigger, but then I didn't pay much for them, because you could, and that's what you get, what you pay for, and I didn't pay a lot of money for them, so I know that. Now, I've got to find some more now, because I've used them ones. But we've got a couple here for this row. We'll just do a bit of everything now. So one or two or three then. It's just a bit different. Well, I think it looks better different, doesn't it? It's my, my plan. I may go over the first bead and get through the others. I know there's a lot on here. It's probably a little bit hard for you to see. I hope not, though. And I'm going to put a stitch because I want, don't want it to, I want them to stay hanging down. I don't want to come up too stiff and sit up there. It's looking silly like. Now where's that box with those in them? Do you know what I did with that? I need a few more little white ones and the little green ones. I've had these for a long time, those green ones, and there's a good reason to use them, isn't there? You can use these, they're nice. I'm only going to have, when I'm finished doing this, beads that go in these boxes. Needless to say, I must have nearly 30 of these boxes now. <laughs> but I do need a variety because I do love to do lots of different things. And I found some really good stuff, so I just, you know, I do need to have them. Because we don't have anything much in this town. Second-hand places, and they want more than what they charge for new stuff, you know. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I can put these funny-shaped ones anywhere. I don't know. But anyway, that should be enough, I hope. I didn't get many white ones. I Hang on a minute, I'll get just a couple, a couple more white ones. I would have had these a lot of my beads sitting in boxes for years and never ever got near them and never used them. Just had them for years and never bother you never to use them. There's some little pink ones. I might put them somewhere else on here. So I'll grab them out while I'm at it. Okay. Now that I know that I know that I'm haven't got any more of those nice white ones. But you can usually get them on a necklace if you haven't got ones that are nice, like these are a nice solid colour, they're not glassy looking, they're more, they're not plastic, they are a glass bead but they're not clear, if you know what I mean, okay, I'll find the hole here in a minute, right, we're, we're through, we're here, we're here. Oh, no. so this is for the bottom bit, no, the top bit, I'm just going to put beads on, because I don't think it matters what I do, does it? 
really. So just all good fun. You can do whatever you like. And I might be a bit longer, it doesn't matter. Go over the go over this white one and go through these. You probably won't see me do much without a bead. I think he's cottoned on to that a long time ago, didn't you? <laughs> ah. I mean, Sonia's going to put the beads on. Well, see, that seem, seems to be what I like to do, doesn't it? Add a bit of bling. Really pretty. And it's getting down to the wire here on the time. And I really want to do a bit more shades a bit more before I finish this bit oh I'm not gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video on this one yet anyway because I've got enough time today Jeremy's cooking me some curry chicken I won't be, won't be ready till half past what, 12 so oh dear Oh, that's not good. I've got the me thread caught here. How on earth did I do that? I've only got a couple of things to go. Oh, I got it. I was going to say I'm only going to need to do a few more of these beads. I found some really nice fabric yesterday, and to do some. different things with. <laughs> I have to stay up all night to achieve all the things I want to do, but it's okay, I'm usually awake, but I don't do anything. I just try to go to sleep. People say they get up and do crafting and things, I can't do that. I've got to stay in the room. If I did that and I fell over, I wouldn't be very popular and I wouldn't be happy with myself either. I just like to stay and be comfortable, even if I can't go to sleep. I, <laughs> I like to stay in a bed. If you warm or cool, whatever the case may be. We put the fan in the room two nights ago and we put the heater back last night. <laughs> oh dear, this silly hot weather. We don't leave the heater on all the time, but we warm the room up so it, you know, just so we can get a, a chill off the room if it's cold. And today it's probably going to be the same. We might have to have a heating instead of cooling, well it doesn't matter, nothing's good, either one's not good, you, not, you know we can use some um, fresh air is good, you don't have to put change it at all, that's <laughs> the best way to be, so the window open and have the fresh air coming in is a better idea, but if it's too cold or too hot, can't be done, okay so look at this, I managed to put two different ones in the middle, I've got four there and four there, and look at that, and four, yeah, that's working well isn't it? I didn't even plan it, I promise. I just put them in there. There we go. I think that looks absolutely gorgeous myself. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on, get on there. You think that looks pretty cool? Yep. I know that there's a lot behind it and that, but you could, in the reel, you can really see it, you know. <laughs> you can actually really see it in the reel that it's there. Oh no, look at this. We've got a bit, a loopy bit here. And this is going to end badly if it's going to get caught up. Oh, crikey. Oh no, don't do that. Just leave it. Just leave it. It'll be fine because you've done a knot. You've done a back stitch on there. You, oh dear oh me. Right. Yeah, we've got a few, a few minutes here that I'm going to do. So I don't know what I'll put down there, but I'll find something that comes down along here. I'm going to do the, these little crosses. So I want to do those crosses. I if I'll put them with this. Keep finding cotton in all the uh, needles in me cotton. Um, where's the box with that in it? 
Hmm. I don't think there's a very thick. There's a bit thick, though. I think. What colour do I want? That's not going to do very much. That's not going to do much at all. Gee, I hope I can find some because the box is up there underneath stuff, and I can't get that out. Um. I just want to make some little crosses there. It's amazing, isn't it, when you want something that should be just here near me. I need a bit of cotton. There's plenty in front of me, but I don't know if I can see the right thing. I can use this, I suppose. Look at this here. Come here. No, that's not the same thing. <laughs> I thought I had something there for a minute. Oh, here it is. I'm going to use some of this, look, aha, uh -huh. this is nice stuff, this is beautiful, this is, it's some Madeira, and it's a, it says it's, it's a knit, I'm afraid for knitting and overlocking, and I'll just put that in there, um, I don't know, I suppose I could knit with it, I don't know, Let's see what, did I pick up a needle? No. I've only got five minutes left on this timer here, so I want to get myself moving along. I had one that this is too uh, pointy. <laughs> pointy, but it's not quite right, is it? This one will be good. I hope I can thread it. I hope I can thread it. It's not got a very hole. No, this is really soft though, this is, so I'm going to try this one. Oh, come on. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, I'm going to go to the pool too, I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm, and I go, I can't swim, I don't think, at this, this, this stage of my life. <laughs> you know, with all the things going on with my body, but I'll be able to do some sort of dog paddling or something, some sort of thing to get some exercise, so I'm excited about that. Now I'm going to do, actually, I should have put something up in under there, shouldn't I? All right, I'm going to stick something under here, fill up this hole, Sonia. I'll just put that on top, shall I? Uh, that way. I don't want that bit on the end there. Is that filling that hole up? Oh, you, that's incredible, isn't it? You cut, cut too much off it, did you? <laughs> Here's a bit. Here's a bit. We'll put this bit. There we go. We're going to put that there, right? Pin, pin. I'll have to cut this bit off that might go in his eye, so we don't want to get it in his eye. Through here, catch that. Where is these things? I can't see them properly now. There's crosses. Crikey, they're not very, done very well, are they? I'll have to come back. I'll be back in a minute, or the next day. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Bye-bye.